If you were wondering what the best travel headphones are, well, I got news for you. I did a little research. We've got the Bose QC45s next to the, come on, next to the Marshall Monitor 2s, active noise cancellation. Come along with me and we'll go on an airplane and check out which ones I think are actually better and which one's a better buy for you. So let's go. Yeah. Ah, airports. Everyone loves them, am I right? Babies screaming, constant announcements, and the sound of jets all over. Well, luckily, we don't have to deal with that because we brought our noise-canceling headphones. So I decided to check out the arguably more fancy and fashionable Marshall Monitor 2 ANC headphones up against the slightly more pedestrian, suburban, and plain-looking Bose QC45s. These two headphones are really similar, and one of the biggest traits they both have is they fold up compactly. Com is that a word? Compact? Compactly? Well, you know what I mean. They're, they get small, and they're easy to fit in your backpack. While I was checking both of these out, I did notice that the Marshall seemed to have slightly higher quality materials in terms of how it felt. The nice metal yoke was a really nice touch, and overall the pleather feels very supple and nice. Now while you get over to the Bose materials, it feels a lot more plasticky, and that's probably my biggest beef with it. It just doesn't feel very premium, though I will say the leather material is super soft and cushy. While traversing the airport, I found that the Marshall headphones felt just a little bit more strangly over the Bose. They both expand out, but I think the, the Marshall has just a slightly higher clamping pressure maybe, but uh, I still think I looked better in the Marshalls. Just, uh, you know. Here's some footage of me doing a scientific wiggle test. Both get an A plus rating. And now, of course, the most important part about these headphones, besides the fact that they fold up kind of small is the noise cancelization. Because when you're in an airport, it's loud and annoying and you just wanna avoid using your ears to listen to things you don't wanna listen to. So I tested both of these headphones and I definitely think that the Bose QC45s are just a hair better than the Marshalls. Specifically what I noticed is that the Marshalls seem to allow some of the mid-tones to come through. Whereas the bows just seem to like overall cancel out just a little bit more noise. It's not enough to where like one would be so much better than the other that you would really mind. I just think the bows had a little bit more all encompassing noise cancelization. Cancelization. It's a canceling. Canceling. There you go. I will say, while both do a valiant effort, nothing can cancel out the screams of a baby. It's just, it just pierces right through your headphones no matter what. I, it's like a safety feature for babies, so you can't ignore them. Now, I will say for the actual audio quality for music and audiobooks, it was relatively close. Like, both of these headphones have an equalization feature in their apps, so you can tweak the noise as much as you want. I didn't really feel like the difference in noise quality was good enough to really say one is better than the other. But here is where I will say I think there's a significant difference in the headphones. Now if you look at the ear compartments on the Bose, they have a recession at the end where the bigger part of your ear will go, and that made a huge difference for comfort on my ears. My ears are about two and a half inches tall by one and a half inches wide. I could wear the Marshalls for probably about... 20 to 30 minutes until I felt fatigued with them. And the bows, I could keep on much longer, at least like 45 minutes to an hour, I'd say, before they started getting uncomfortable. If you have small ears, the Marshall headphones might be a little bit better for you because they're just a little bit more compact overall when they fit over your ears. So the big question is, which one should you get? Well, I think for me, I'm going to say I actually favor the Bose QC45s just a little bit more because of the noise canceling they have is just a little bit more robust and I find them so much more comfortable to wear over a long period of time. And for travel, those are pretty big ticket items. Now don't get me wrong, the Marshalls aren't bad by any means. They're really well made and I absolutely loved grabbing them out of my backpack and putting them on because I thought they were so cool. But I think as with any decision for a luxury item like this, 
whatever you're gonna get, it should make you happy when you pick it up and use it. It should bring some joy because both of these things pretty much at the end of the day do the same thing and they're not significantly better than each other. So make the decision that makes you happy. That's what I'd say. Anyways, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.